Me wake up in the morning, all me think about me blood Me feel it kinda higher cause me smoke until me suck A little bit that bubble switch, we leave a non-stop When me blunt is in my hand, no need to buy me We in the building with 3RP here at True Shine Studios We in the building with True Shine, man, with your boy OP 3RP Y'all been in the game for like what? Like only like two years as a group? Yup, not even two years, bro. About a year, year, and year and a half, two years in April. You know what I'm saying? For all the viewers and fans and people that are interested in knowing, you know, uh, where you perform and when. So you can find us on myspace.com slash the number three R Productions 503. We've done shows everywhere, man, from graduation parties to little bars and clubs, you know what I mean? Some colleges, so, you know. Right. Yeah, you guys did do the college. How long you, have you been, you know, doing music? Well, I always grew up like a, like a family of music. My pops, he always played the guitar. He always had like a piano, keyboard, a guitar laying around. So when I was young, I just, I just, you know, picked it up, you know, just started playing it. How long have you been like? more into like reggae music. Reggae, that's that's the only thing I know. Like rap and R&B, these two, they, they know a lot about that. Who are some of the um, people people that you looked up to in, in reggae that really like inspired you to get into it? I'm really into like the old school reggae, like Jimmy Cliff, Alpha Blondie, you know, like Big Mountain, Bob Marley, Lucky Dude. Yo, and now we've arrived at Chris. Okay, now, man, I've heard all types of titles, manager, this, that, let's get it clear, like, and you rap and you do a lot of different stuff, what's, what's your um, official title, 3RP? The official title for 3RP? Currently, I am the manager for 3RP, I'm an artist too, I guess you can call me an artist, I rap. When did you first start getting into music? Rap is my thing, I've been listening to music since rap music, or Bay Area rap music since I was knee high. We actually started as a production, you know, just to produce beats, just started listening to our own beats and we just kept rapping on them, singing on them, and somehow it just manifested into a group thing. What we're trying to do is, uh, I don't know, man, just bring a whole new sound to the Northwest, man. It's hard to shine out here too, man. It's not just us, man. There's a lot of local artists out here that are hot as hell, dude, but it's just, there's no leeway out here, man. Do you see the potential for unity in, in Portland? Like, or do you feel like, like, what are the challenges right now? I see it, man. It's, it really just depends on the individual, though. You know what I mean? If they in that same mind state, it's kind of hard to try to persuade somebody to get into the same mind state as you if they really ain't on that level, you know what I mean? Because uh, you get, uh, this game is crying, you know? Niggas is hungry like that, bro. There's snakes in this game, just like there's snakes on the streets, man. Uh, people are just trying to eat. So we want to talk about unity and whatnot, man. You're not know. hungry. There's enough. a handful of people yeah, out there that's willing to do it. I mean, you know what I mean? It just takes one person to leave and willing to put their time and sacrifice into it and whatnot. Which I feel like it's going to be true shine. You know what I mean? Tell us a little bit about your music, bro. You make beats. Yeah. Okay. Make beats. Produce. Basically, anything a producer will do. A little bit more. Right. How long you been doing it? Since I was a kid, man, I love music, man. Music was a big part of my life, man. It's been around music a lot, man. My main shit, I love R&B. R&B is your strong suit, right? So, like, who are your influences in R&B? I love Odie's, fucking R. Kelly. The Dreams type, man. I like his style, man. He got a lot of swag to him. Fucking Trey songs. R&B is different nowadays, though, man. You're forgetting about the Odie's, man. I love the Odie's. Hip-hop's dying whatnot. He, he, he. I don't know, man. The music they're playing on the airwaves is ridiculous now, bro. Our album, man, we trying to drop our album. You know, uh, we got three different genres on our uh, album. And this is a group album. It was all of us. After this one, we're going to have individual albums out. On D Tunes, J Swift, you know what I'm saying? Me and my boy Folks. Uh, but right now, we're going to drop our first group album. And it's got, it got hits on there, bro. So we're trying to incorporate all three genres into each genre. When's that album uh, due to release? Next month, second week of January. Where can people get it? You can get it from our show.
shows. It's gonna be available on iTunes. You gotta watch the crowds you hang around with, man. The snakes be hard to uh, distinguish when you go around with them, man. You are who you hang with, bro. Come on, support your boys, man. Every third week of the month, every third Sunday, Club 915 on Sacking and Taylor, downtown Portland, man. Come check us out, man. Like to give a shout out to OP and Martin. Yeah, shout out to Martin. He's been doing a lot for us, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. For real. OP be on some other shit, though. My nigga, he on the righteous path, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Trying to change the world. Revolutionary, trying to open your mind to some different shit, you know what I'm saying? In a different mindset, in a different level, that's tight as fuck does, man. So we got respect for my boy, bitch. Doing this thing, you know what I'm saying? Sure. See yeah. my boy, y'all seen him on the motherfucking Blazers commercial, man. Y'all don't know who OP is, nigga. You better turn on the damn games, then. You feel me? No, I kind of, I kind of grew up in the music, uh, the background. Obviously, I, I don't take after that part. I try, at least I act like this. I basically grew up around a lot of music, country, Eagles, uh, old rock. My daddy. You know, bump it all the time. And 3RP is it's not only just one genre of music. It's, you know, rap, reggae, and R&B, but we also do country, too. What do you do with 3RP, Monte? Me? Are you a hook singer? Uh, that, well, that part, I, I, I got laid off of that. The economy is <laughs> bad. And so now, they got me as the toilet cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> This is for 30 days only.